Kind of pretty. Good morning, everyone. It is just after 5 a.m. And we are gonna go Strava segment chasing. So I really like the idea of the Strava segment. It's like a, a mini race, a mini competition, a way to gamify running a little bit. And I think it's kind of fun. So I have a, a, a 10 mile loop near my house. Well, I start near my house, obviously, uh, but the loop goes clear out and around uh, town. And there are a number of segments that you can hit up along the way, more than I thought there would be. And I either have the crown for many of them, or I'm in the top uh, two or three places for those, those different segments. So I'm gonna show them off uh, to you, and uh, um, yeah, it'll be fun. Might even attempt to get a new crown today. We'll see. So this first segment is called East Alamo Place Climb. And it looks pretty easy right here because it's fairly flat. But once you get beyond those trees, uh, you start climbing up quite high. It's, it's got a 5% grade. It's 150 feet of elevation gain. And uh, while only 0.62 miles long, um, it gets quite hard to climb up that other side. Uh, I had the crown for about a day <laughs> at a 710 pace. So now I'm sitting at second place and my uh, good running friend Eric has the crown at a 607 per mile pace, which is just insane. One of these days, I'm going to reclaim the crown, but not this morning. I don't feel like doing a sub six minute pace uphill. It's just too fast for this morning. And this is the climb. The camera just doesn't do justice on this little local hill, considering that the whole thing has an average 5% grade. But the climb doesn't really occur until the last half. You're doing all that climbing at the end. Whew. Made it to the top. Looks like we might have beautiful sunrise. I don't know about you, but I love the smell of a fresh fence in the morning. And this next segment is called East Smoky Hill, South Versailles Parkway, and South Gun Club Road. A little bit of a mouthful. It has a 3% grade uh, incline, 51 feet of climbing, and is only 0.31 miles long. Uh, my friend Colton currently has the record at a 6.58 per mile pace. I'm in fourth place currently at a 7.21 per mile pace, but I'm thinking I'm gonna claim the crown this morning. Sorry, Colton. I think I got the crown. Man, at a sub six minute pace. We got it. I think we got it. Okay, this next section is called Descent from Smoky Hill. It's a 3% negative grade with 155 feet of descent and is 1.01 miles long. I currently have the crown at a five minute, 39 second mile average. And I know a couple of my local friends are trying to snag that crown, so more power to them. Uh, this is a, a tricky one actually, because while it is net downhill, there's a section that is uphill and you have to maintain your pace through that whole section. Hey, I just remembered. You should tell me in the comments some of your favorite Strava segments that you have the crown for or you want to get the crown. So tell me about it. How long are they? What's the descent or ascent look like? And 
What's so appealing about it? Comment down below. Next one is called the Super Target Climb. And it has, let's see, I can't read it my notes while I'm running. It's a 4% uphill grade with 90 feet of climbing over just under uh, half a mile, 0.47. I have the crown currently at a 616 per mile pace, but I'll tell you, it really burns as you get climbing up near the top. Oh, your legs, your lungs, you're, you're pushing it to get up this hill. Doesn't seem like much right now, but it kind of feels a little relentless as you continue to climb up around the super target. To my local Strava running friends, Adrian, Brian, Colton, if you guys are watching this, this challenge is for you. You can claim the crown on this. I know you can. And then I'll go claim it back. And where one segment ends, another one begins. This next next segment is called Over the Hills to Ireland. And it is 1.06 miles long. It has a actually gain only 1%, but it has 72 feet of climbing. Think about that. One mile long, 72 feet of gain, but 1% elevation grade. That's not very much, and you think, oh, this is totally doable. But it's because you have this initial downhill section, and then it kind of climbs up a little bit, flattens out, and then climbs. I currently have the crown for this segment at a 6.36 per mile average pace. This is the downhill section, and then it starts to climb on the other side a little bit. Just when you're beginning to think, oh yeah, I got this, there's this hill. Finally made it to the top. It's a good climb. This segment is called Hinsdale Climb to Himalaya, and it starts down there where those trees are, actually past the trees up further. Um, it is only 0.16 miles long. It's a 5% grade with 51 feet of climbing. The other day, I think it was yesterday, actually, I more or less sprinted up this hill at a 516 per mile average pace and claim the crown. It's a short one, but man, it's it's steep enough that you really start feeling the burn. It's a good climb though, really good climb. Where one segment ends, another one begins. This particular segment on this road here starts at the top of the hill and comes down. It's called the Odessa Hook. It's negative 2% grade. 98 feet of elevation loss and 0.77 miles long. My friend Cooper currently has the crown on this segment at a five minute, six minute, excuse me, five minute, six second average mile pace, which is just insane. I'm second place at a 611 pace, uh, which is pretty good. One of these days, Cooper, just you watch. I'm gonna get that crown from you. And then you'll probably come back and claim it again. I love running out in these neighborhoods. I have acres of land and it's just pretty. These are also the neighborhoods that have helped me embrace the hill climbs. Besides, 
when it comes to climbing hills, what goes up must come down. They call that Newton's Law of Running, right? This last Strata segment is called Liverpool Climb. Start to go down there where the light is, and it's 0.71 miles long. Let's clear up the hill, I'll show you in a sec. 3% grade with 99 feet of elevation climbing. This hill, this Liverpool climb, I think is my arch enemy. I once tried to claim the crown and missed it by just a few seconds. And then it was either later that same day or the next day, my friend Eric, the same Eric who claimed the crown on the very first segment that I showed you, I don't know how he did it, but he ran up this hill at a six minute, three second average mile pace, claimed the crown, got the win. Good for him, good job, Eric. I am sitting in third place currently at a six minute, 40 second per mile pace. One of these days, I'm going to get the crown on this hill. Oh man, but it's hard. It's just long enough to burn and the last quarter mile is probably the hardest, steepest section to climb and to run. Whew. I'm coming for you, Liverpool climb, one day. I'm coming for you. So I'm gonna go climb this hill, and in the meantime, make sure to comment what Strava segments you enjoy, you gain the crown on, uh, give me a little story, comment down below. Alright guys, I'll see you later. supposed to go comment. Let me know what Strava segments are challenging. Which ones you've claimed the ground for. I'll do that. Okay. Until next time. Remember, be consistent, express gratitude, and enjoy every mile. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.